Uh, there are a couple of different um, legends, if you will, or origin stories about why this story is called the elevator pitch. Uh, the modern version is in Silicon Valley, the elevator pitch was the amount of time it took for the elevator to get from the lobby to the conference room where young investors needed to make their case or young inventors needed to make their case to Silicon Valley investors. That's all the time they have. The more traditional story, it actually goes back to the inventor of the elevator, Otis, Mr. Otis. Uh, and he, you know, when he first came out with the elevator, nobody would get on. Nobody would try it, right? It's too dangerous. It's crazy. What is this thing? I'm being lifted into the sky and I'm going to die. So he had to demonstrate it. He had to, you know, proof of concept. So he set up an open air elevator in midtown Manhattan because he had to prove to the world that this was safe and going to work. And so he set it up. It had a braking system just a few feet or maybe a few inches off the ground. And in an open air environment, he put himself in the elevator up, 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 up. It went, I think, like four stories back then. And he dropped himself. And of course, people are shocked and gasp. But then very naturally and effectively, it broke or the brake was applied safely uh, from the ground and it worked. So he had that time to demonstrate his pitch that his elevator could work. So pick your, pick your preferred story of uh, how the elevator pitch uh, uh, message got started. But uh, I like the older one. It, it has a sense of danger. Uh, what's going to happen? Is there going to be you know, a splat and so forth? We hope not. All right. Um, but again, in our environment, it's the tell me about yourself message, right? First question you get asked, first networking icebreaker that you're going to use. And it can make the difference between whether your audience is engaged or starting to check out. 